my name is Monica and thank you so much for tuning back in. In this video, I'm teaching you how to make this cute and really easy to sew sweater dress. I love the way it turned out and I think it's super cozy and comfortable so it'll definitely be my go-to outfit this holiday season. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would so appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more easy step-by-step -step sewing tutorials. And yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and get into the video. To make this dress, you'll want at least two yards of a stretchy sweater knit fabric. I used this lightweight, slightly sheer sweater fabric for mine, so I paired it with a tank top underneath when I wore it, but if you want a heavier dress, you can get a thicker sweater fabric. You'll also need a well-fitting shirt with sleeves to use as a pattern. Begin by folding the sleeves into the center of the shirt to get them out of the way, adjusting them along the seams so you can see the curved shape of the armholes like so. Then fold the shirt in half down the center, and this is what we'll use as a guide to cut out the bodice of the dress. Set this aside and fold a portion of your fabric over, making sure it can stretch in the direction the arrows are going so the sweater will stretch around you once it's done, and if you have stripes, line them up. Lay your shirt onto the fabric so that the folds line up, and make sure you have a few extra inches of fabric on the side of the shirt. Pin it down and begin cutting a half inch larger than your neckline to add seam allowance, and continue with that half inch extra around the shoulder and armhole. When you get to the side, you'll start cutting a half inch wider, but you'll want to angle your cutting to get a few inches wider as you go down to give extra room for your hips. I like a slightly looser sweater, so I cut mine about 3 inches wider, but the amount you cut depends on your shape and preference. So if you have a larger lower half, you may want to cut even more, or if you like a more fitted sweater, then cut less. Estimate how long you want the dress to be by measuring on yourself, although I suggest cutting a couple of inches lower just to be on the safe side. Remove the shirt and unfold your fabric, and you'll have a shape that looks similar to this. Then use it as a guide to cut a second identical dress piece, although I did lower the neckline on one piece for the front of the dress. Lay the pieces with the correct sides facing together, and pin and sew along the shoulders and sides. Sew all of your seams in this tutorial with a half inch seam allowance, and since we're using a stretch fabric, use a ballpoint needle and a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch so that your seams will be able to stretch without breaking. Take your time as you sew and try not to pull on the fabric, just guide it through. Since I hadn't used this sweater fabric, I tested a few of the stretch and zigzag stitches on a scrap of it and saw that a zigzag stitch worked best, so that's what I used. Try on your dress to make sure it fits how you want, and if you do need to take it in, do that now. To make a sleeve pattern, lay your shirt back out so the sleeve is straightened out where this top straight edge is the folded edge of the sleeve, and this curved seam looks like half of a bell shape. Lay a sheer piece of paper like tissue or tracing paper onto the sleeve so the straight edge is lined up with the folded edge of the sleeve, and begin tracing out the sleeve shape by following along that curved seam. Continue along the inside edge of the sleeve, and then since the sleeves on the sweater dress are flared out slightly, start around halfway down and begin curving your line outward away from the shirt sleeve. You can make your sleeves as flared out as you like. I made mine about 3 inches wider than my shirt. Trace along the sleeve's bottom edge to complete the shape. Right where the folded edge was so you don't forget, then remove the shirt and add new lines a half inch wider than your sleeve to add seam allowance on all sides of the pattern except the folded side. Cut around these new lines to cut out your sleeve pattern, which will look similar to this. Fold a portion of your remaining fabric over and lay your sleeve pattern down onto the fold of the fabric. Pin it down and cut around the pattern to cut out your sleeve. 
When you remove the pattern and unfold your fabric, you'll have one sleeve cut out that will look like this, then cut a second sleeve. Fold the sleeve in half with the correct side facing together and pin and sew along that long flared edge, then repeat with the second sleeve. Turn them right side out and use a straight pin to mark this point at the top of the curve on each sleeve, which is the part that will sit at your shoulders. To attach them to the dress, turn the sleeves right side out and the dress inside out. And basically, you'll need to match up and pin the shoulder seam on the dress to that point you marked with a pin on the sleeves, then match and pin the armpit seams on both pieces, and finally you'll pin the curved edges together. The best way to do this is to flip your sleeve so that you're holding the end of the sleeve that will sit at your wrist, and slide it in through the armhole like this, so the correct sides of the fabrics are facing together and the armholes line up. Match up the armpit seams on the sleeve and the bodice and pin them together. Then, line up that pin you placed on the sleeve to the shoulder seam on the bodice and pin them together too. Finally, you'll line up the raw curved edges and pin frequently around the rest of the armhole to prepare it for sewing. When you're done pinning, sew around the armhole to secure the sleeve, and then repeat that process to join the other sleeve. To hem the neckline, turn your dress inside out, and I find it easiest to start at the back of the neck. Fold your fabric over about a quarter of an inch once, then fold it again another quarter inch and pin the fold down, although if you're working with a thicker fabric, you may have to fold a little more over at a time. Continue double folding the fabric and pinning it down, repeating all the way around the front of the neck until it's all been folded and pinned. Sew around the neckline to secure the hem, and for this I recommend using a wider stretch or zigzag stitch, which will help flatten out the thick folded fabric and make it lay more neatly. I used a wider zigzag stitch on mine and it worked perfectly, plus since I used the same colored thread, you can't even see the stitches. Double fold, pin, and sew the ends of the sleeves to hem them the same way. Now before hemming the bottom edge, I tried the dress on and decided to shorten it a couple of inches to get the length I want since I plan on wearing this with leggings. I then double folded, pinned, and sewed the bottom edge to hem the dress, and that completes this sweater dress tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun making one of your own. Hi everyone! Whoa! Squirrel on a mission. I swear I just heard a squirrel laughing. Is that possible? With like the the easy to sew sweat sweat what sweater dress. Now I just paired mine with a hair in my mouth. Ugh.